Hi guys, welcome! There will be new class S star runes added in a future update in RO2.0 Isle of Dreams. Except for collab jobs, all job classes will get one new star rune each, and some will definitely shake the meta in the PvP arena. And in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the new star rune for the Arcane Master class. Hopefully, this video can help you decide if the new star runes are suitable for your character so that you can save some glittering rune stone star as early as now. Alright, without further ado, do, let's begin. In the current meta, Slayers have undeniably surpassed Arcane Masters in terms of dealing AoE burst magic damage. They are always at the top when it comes to kill count in GVG and PvP team competition. Hence, the addition of this new star rune for Arcane Masters called Heat Energy Vortex Star Rune will definitely improve both their utility and damage in PvP. The first line effect of this new star rune will allow Arcane Masters to acquire a Ghost Element Orb which increases their ghost damage by 1% up to 20%. Elemental orbs are normally obtained whenever an elemental skill is used or upon casting recognized spell. When Arcane Masters were first released, the ghost build became extinct, and this was because the fourth job skill tree only included one ghost element skill which is strong will transmission. And thus this new star rune may encourage Arcane Masters to put more attention in increasing their ghost element damage. There are plenty of damage modifiers for the Ghost build, and these are some of the notable ones. First is the Soul Player card, which appears more frequently now in exchange due to its recent addition in King Porin's Combined Fate Pool. In laying this card in your headwear increases Ghost Element damage by 15%. We also have the Telepathy Amplification card for Offhand, which increases Ghost damage by 20% for 5 seconds after using White Imprison. Other useful cards are Harpy Card for Garment which increases the damage of Soul Expansion by 10% and Marionette Star Card for Foot Gear which increases Ghost Element damage by 5%. There's also the Evil Hat Headgear whose blueprint is dropped by Wasteland Lord. It increases Ghost Element damage by 5% and an additional 1% for every refine plus 1. So at plus 15 refinement, it will increase Ghost damage by 20%. And lastly, there's also the Ghost Damage Guild Prayer an element attack attribute rune which can further increase your ghost damage. The main advantage of having a ghost build is that it can be a good counter against ghost string card users in PvP as they'll receive twice more damage. They may also counter slayers since ghost attacks can hit and damage players protected by white barrier. The only drawback of having a full ghost build is that ghost damage is not that effective against neutral enemies so it's essential to cast White Imprison first before casting your Ghost Attack skill. Not only will Soul Expansion deal double damage, but also the third line effect of Nether Prison Class S rune will convert the target's attribute to Ghost and thus deal higher damage. Here's a damage comparison for Soul Expansion with versus without the new Star Rune. As you can see without the new Star Rune, the spell crit damage of my Soul Expansion is 51.1 million. On the other hand, with the new star rune that I got which grants 12.8% ghost damage, the spell crit damage of my soul expansion is now 54.7 million. So that's a 7% increase in damage. As for the second line effect of the heart energy vortex star rune, Tetra Vortex will now deal an additional 1% up to 50% ghost damage. Tetra Vortex is a single target magic attack skill that consumes elemental orbs and deals a burst magic damage of the four different elements, wind, earth, water, and fire to an enemy target. So with the second line effect, Tetra Vortex will now deal five different elemental damage. It's a pretty good burst damage skill in both PvE and PvP. Its cooldown was even reduced last episode update from 10 seconds to now 5 seconds. As mentioned earlier, Soul Expansion is the only useful Ghost Element attack skill, so the addition of Ghost Damage to Tetra Vortex can further synergize with the Ghost build. Here's a damage comparison for Tetra Vortex with versus without the new Star Rune. Without the new Star Rune, the spell crit damage of my Tetra Vortex is 40.1 million. On the other hand, with the new Star Rune that I got which grants 16.2% damage in the second line, the spell crit damage of my Tetra Vortex is now 51.6 million, so that's a 28.68% increase in damage. And lastly, for the third line effect of the Heart Energy Vortex Star Rune, 
Tetraphoridex can now hit targets under white imprisoned status. There's only 8% chance to get this effect when opening runes. So if this line is activated, the combo of white imprisoned and Tetravortex can be used to assassinate players in PvP. Here's a damage comparison for Tetravortex with versus without white imprisoned. When hitting targets without white imprisoned, the spell crit damage of my Tetravortex is 50.6 million. But when hitting targets inside white imprisoned, the spell crit damage of my Tetravortex reached 82.3 million, so that's a whopping 62.65% increase in damage. Therefore, the third line effect of this new star rune is really effective in making Tetravortex hurt more in PvP. You just need to combo it with White Imprison. In conclusion, this new star rune for Arcane Masters is absolutely a must-have. If you're only focusing on PvE, just aim for a high percent value on the first and second lines. But for the PvP Ghost build, you should prioritize getting the third line effect and decent values on the first two lines. Alright, that's it for a quick review of the new star rune for Arcane Masters. Just leave a comment below as to which new star rune you want to see next. Alright, that's it for this video guys, don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.